All right, everybody. Hello, my name is Liam Hardy Five. Welcome back to Journey of Wrestling. It has been a while since we just a Journey of Wrestling action on the channel. Uh, I've been meaning to upload a Journey of Wrestling video, but I've been lazy and I've not been editing. So uh, I am gonna hold off on that one for a moment. But right now, uh, we're gonna go into some SmackDown business right now. Uh, as you can see, I've not played SmackDown in quite a while. It's been a month. It's been a month. It's been a month. So let's play SmackDown. Ignore that this is a, uh, what I'm doing. LCF Promotion. That's coming soon, hopefully. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But right now, we're on SmackDown. First time being this in a month. Uh, we've got the Aggression, Jonathan Gresham, and Omos. All a part of SmackDown. We're trying to rec recruit Isaiah Swift Scott before, uh, you know. You know, we end up releasing him in the end because we are WWE. We are, we are like that. And you know what? It's time to release a people. This is a special edition of the roster where we release people. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but here's our roster currently. Uh, the Universal Champion is Jordan Grace. Uh, Dominic Mysterio is the Intercontinental Champion. Santana is the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Dr. Britt Baker is the head of the table. Uh, Miyu Yamashita and Mayu Itani are the Hog Dippers. Uh, Deanna Prado is Miss Money in the Bank. And May Saruga is the SmackDown Women's Champion. And of course, all these belts are on different brands. So, for example, I believe the Mysterio, Miyu, Mayu, and May, and even Diana Perazzo, although Diana Perazzo has both brands to choose from, uh, are all part of Velocity. As you can see, oh, look at that, I was right. And then we've got Grace, Ortiz, Santana, and Britt Baker, part of SmackDown. So, that's, uh, that's, a, that's our situation on right now. Uh, does anybody have a brand? Diana Perazzo is no brand, but she's a champion. That's why she got the Money Bank contract. So everybody has a brand, which is cool. Uh, of course, Omas has joined. Where is Omas? Where is where is where is my man Omas? There it is. Omas is here. Low mid Carter, not for long. A prize associate of AJ Styles. Um, I think we just signed him, so we can change his gimmick right away. And I'm changing his gimmick. He's not the associate of AJ Styles. He is he is something else. Um, let me see. What what can we make him here? I, I reckon we can make him a little. He's a bit of a jock, isn't he? Well, we won't put him a jock, though. What's this for? Okay, fair enough. He's, a, he's not a rapper. He's not a rich person. Hmm. He's a big, straight-up thug. I think he's a thug. His character's a thug. Is an aggressive thug? A charismatic thug? A cocky thug? A flamboyant, fun-loving thug? <laughs> uh, I, I like the idea of a, oh, he's a, strong, oh, he's a strong thug. He is strong. I think we should... I'm, uh, we'll, go, we'll go aggressive. Maybe confident. They like that combination. Okay, that's cool. That's a good combination with confident thug. I think we, we can go with that. Oh, this is the appearance. Uh, he's a heel. And we will change that. He's a confident thug. We'll see how we do with this. His last match was David Arquette. His last two matches with David Arquette. What was the Wrestle Kingdom? Damn, he's had a... Pat McAvee. Sean Spears, Zeus, MVP, and Ross Von Eric, And David Arquette was the last few matches. That is, uh... That is, yeah... He's part of the worst feuds of the year, and worst match of the year as well, is Elmas. He was a former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion. How was he a Junior Heavyweight? Did they change the rules there, son? Or did he get down to, to slim down to Junior Heavyweight? I mean, he, he could. He is Elmas. So, we're on Velocity currently. We're about to book some Velocity here. Age Styles, Kevin Owens are on a feud right now. Age Styles back on the roster for from his uh, appearances. I don't know how many pieces he's got left. I think we'll have a look ski before we uh, do anything. He has three pieces left, so by the time this feud finishes, I think we might have we might have one more feud in Styles if we are uh, lucky. Super Tico Dominic Series still feuding over the Intercontinental Championship. Boogie Man and Apollo Crews are also feuding. Uh, Riho and Bianca Bell, that feud is dying down. As is Mace Ruga's uh, feud with Dakota Kai. That is finally going away. Uh, I believe that's that the last event. Was that last event, uh, Velocity? Oh no, it was everybody. Okay, that's cool. So, we have a look here. Bear Country! Defeated Starks and Cage. We have Santana Ortiz retaining the titles against MSK. 
Age of Alice cheated, so that's why we, uh, we're continuing this feud here. Apollo Crews beat the Boogeyman with Day in the Life of Britt Baker. Abushi beat Jungle Boy. Well, look at that on SmackDown when we get there. Uh, Miyu and Mayu defeated Pre Daddy and the Boozy Beasts to retain the Hulk Divas Championship. Pete Dunn defeated Tony Storm. Hook defeated Rey Mysterio. That's a yeah, that's a decision I made. Uh, I think oh, I think we took Mysterio heel. It must have passed out. Yeah, it must have. Dominic Mysterio is now a heel champion, ladies and gentlemen. That's what's happening. Serpent is now a babyface. That's uh, that's always how it's always been in my eyes, anyway. Darby Allen and John Moxley put on a killer match. Mace Ruga defeated Dakota Kai. To win the title. Jordan Grace retained the title against Roman Reigns. And then we had the Money in the Bank briefcase matchup, which had a few rivalries in there, but Deanna Peraza eventually got the win. So now we look on SmackDown and see what we can. So, I believe, yeah, we do. New gimmick package is happening, and it is for Omos, who is on Velocity, thankfully. I was hoping he was on Velocity. I believe it's a. Yeah, these are the aggressions. The aggression is here on Velocity as well. A lot of tag teams here. We've got Ramon Suzuki too, if you want him, he's retired, but you know, Ramon Suzuki's there. So, new game package for Omos. He's not debuted yet either, but I think. Oh, should we do that as well? Do we have that here, actually? We do. We'll do that as well. We'll do a double package for Omos for this one. Mace Rigan Dakota Guys feud is over, I feel. Uh, the proven winner will be Mace Ruger. So that feud will be blown off. We're also going to recap what happened at the pay-per-view. Uh, so that's another package we'll do. We've got eight, we've got lots of segments to do. So, you know, let's get them all in. Let's get them all in, sir. Uh, Riho and Bianca Belair, they're still feuding. But I feel like that feud will end soon. I think it'll end on the next Velocity show. So right now, let's have a promo ski. Do we have, actually, do we have Smack Talk available for them? Or was that already done? Let me see. So we could just do Smack Talk, okay. So let's, let's do that instead. We'll delete that. There we go. We'll put it up here. We'll separate the debut and gimmick packages uh, from this. Serpentica Dominic Mysterio, that feud is still going on. Uh, what can we do here then? I feel like. Post Match Attack sounds pretty cool. Mass Attacker? I mean, that could be. You know, I'm not against that. Mass Attack, of, yeah, we'll do that. So, we'll do that for this feud. Obviously, we're trying to make Dominic Mysterio the biggest dickhead on, on Velocity, so that's our aim. Boogeyman, Apollo Crews, uh, I don't know. We've uh, we've done a lot with... with Apollo Crews is one, so I don't know if there's any point in me continuing this feud. Yeah, or maybe this, actually, you know what? Yeah, that'll do. We'll do that. In-ring attack, a blackout is on cards. Do brand signings here. Debut. Actually, since we have the aggression, we may as well debut them here. We'll debut the aggression. Perfect. This is fantastic here. And then, what are the foods we got here currently? We have AJ Styles, Kevin Owens. We haven't done anything yet, so let's do that quickly. Uh... Promo ambush. H Styles is bragging, and uh, that leads to Kevin Owens coming out. We'll, we'll sort that out in a moment. Uh, so make sure we can use a new feud. We'll sort that out right now. Actually, we have a promo battle available, don't we? We do. So a promo battle later on the show. Mace Ruga. Ooh, who could you feud with? Who's the first feud after being champion? Tony Storm is here. Kairi Sane is also here. Kairi Sane's on a bit of a losing streak, to be fair. I don't know if that's the way to go. Um, Me is also here too. Bianca Belair. You know what? We're going to hold off on that for a moment. We're going to wait till the Riho Bianca Belair feud's over. So we'll, we'll ignore that for a moment. But right now, let's make some tag matches happen. Chaos Burning is here. Luther has two appearances left. So let's put the Boozy Beast on against Pretty Deadly in a matchup here. Uh, I feel like they need a match. And then a singles match. We main event this one. Uh, Pete Dunne is going in action against somebody. Kushida? Yeah, Kushida. Kushida's a good match. But that's the main event of Velocity. And we have one more segment left, but I don't think we really need to do anything else. So I think we've got everything uh, sorted. Actually, I say that. 
Let's have a backstage interview with somebody. Backstage interview with Tony Storm. Let's talk to Tony, see what she's doing. Is it Tony time? I don't know. It, it may be. We'll put this down here. And that'll do. What a stack card for Velocity. After Money in the Bank, very cool card. Let's see how we do. Here we go. Alright. So, a recap package on Money in the Bank goes very well. It recapped mostly John Moxley and Darby Allen, the best match on the show. Uh, which is, you know, it's not a Velocity rivalry, but whatever. Uh, proven winner, May Saruga, wins his feud. A nice rating for the feud as well. Four and three quarter stars, nearly a five star feud. I mean, the hype for this feud was off the charts. 326, very, very high indeed. And these two have been feuding for a long time, so it's good to see this ending with Mace Ruger winning the big one finally. Pre Daddy vs. Boozy Beasts uh, both have one on one records here on Velocity. And I feel like we need to give somebody a win. And how about Pre Deadly? They need to get a little more over than uh, Boozy Beasts. Boozy Beasts are over already. I think Pre Daddy needs to get more. Wins in their columns, so. so that's what we're doing here for that. Tony Storm is backstage, interviewed, and look at that over this plus four, and the popular change as well. Very good hot segment, hot segment, son, with Tony Storm. She's more than ready for her next match, whoever that may be against. We don't know. We don't know yet. Oh, Omos, hold on a second, son. Look at what we've done already. A debut package for Omos. Seven plus overness change. He has gone from average to popular. That's what moving to Velocity does for Omos. Oh, yeah. That's right. Omos getting over already. Uh, Aiming attack. Boogeyman is going to attack Apollo Crews. I think he needs to do that because he lost the pay-per-view. So that's the Boogeyman. Debut for new team. The Aggression. It. Uh, that's not a great rating, but does get him a little over, I guess. Plus one over has changed, but again, the rating just wasn't there in 40. The aggression is here, though. The aggression. New tag team of Velocity. Very nice to see. Uh, Kevin Owens attacks AJ Styles after their uh, match ended in a cheating way from AJ Styles. Cheating to win. Uh, mass attacker. Donut Mysterio. What a dickhead. He's in a mask and he's uh, attacking Serpentico. What a, what a dickhead. What a dickhead in the champion. Champion for four months. Four months. That's my guy. You smell. Uh, Riho, Bianca Belair, uh, smack talking. Uh, I'm going with the Bianca Belair, I think. Yeah, that, that makes sense, right? Yeah, Bianca's the heel. I mean, a popularity change for both women as well, which is pretty cool. Both wrestlers getting a popularity shift. Which is cool. Uh, we've got a gimmick package for Omos. And that goes a fucking hell. Plus 14% overness change. And Omos hasn't even been, hasn't even wrestled. He's nearly over with the fans already. He's getting over, son. That's what we're talking about right there. Omos is the man. Jesus. All right, main event, Kushida versus Pete Dunne. Uh, I think Pete Dunne should win. Because he won at the Pippi. So all in all, not a bad little show. A bad little show there between uh, for Velocity. Four and a half stars. I mean, that's that's a great show for Velocity. Uh, as you see, lots of stuff happening. A blow-off feud. The feud's blown off. She made three to Dakota Kai. I mean, Tony Storm in an interview. Omos had a package. Omos had another package. I mean, Omos is the best thing on the show. That's all i got to say about that. And we didn't even need Hook. We didn't even need Hook on this show. Well, Hook's going to be featured next week. Let me tell you that much. So, 7 million people have tuned in to see Velocity. A lot of fans back on our side. I'm loving it. NXT. Who watches NXT UK? God damn. Um, so, here we are. We have here, we have the next show for SmackDown. Dalton Castle, Unhappy New Japan Pro Wrestling. Ooh. We did try and sign Dalton Castle. We'll try and sign him again. Dalton Castle, come to me. Talk to me, Dalton. Talk to me. Where's Dolan Castle? There he is. There's a low mid card. Why is he up down there? Uh, as soon as I leave. Oh, yeah. We did try. We can't even negotiate him now. Sorry, Dalton. I guess we can't uh, have you for a moment. He's 0% unhappy there. That's that's pretty pretty true. Uh, how's the staff looking? Velocity facility and stuff. 
It's pretty good, actually. Um, oh, that's a new thing. Talent request. I forgot to say. Uh, this new thing, talent request. Uh, basically, talent comes to you and go, Hey, I want to get. I want to have some time on the mic tonight, son. And you go, Yeah, no, or maybe. Or maybe someone else. That's, that's a new thing. I forgot to say. It has been a month. <laughs> it has been a month since we last said anything. Uh, Smackdown was. Uh, does anyone need to reassure here on Smackdown? Does anybody I need to... Is anybody unhappy on SmackDown? Nobody's unhappy. Everyone's happy right now, which is pretty cool. Uh, was anybody unhappy from here? It doesn't look like it. From what I see, everybody's happy, which is pretty cool. Yeah, we know I'm also unhappy. In New Everyone's unhappy in New Japan Pro Wrestling. That's not cool. <laughs> That's not good for them, is it? Uh, what's our goal? Boogeyman win a major battle royal, win four NU awards, and hold 4.45. Okay, how are we doing on that? So we haven't made Boogeyman a major, but one a major battle royal. We will do that soon. That's going well, and we don't know about that until the end of the year, so that's fine. Uh, okay, so SmackDown. MS King, Santana Ortiz, this feud's gone for a long time. Base Mon Johnson, also gone for a long time. Jungle Boy, Kota Bushi, still going. I'm going to keep it going until at least Extreme Rules. And also Bear Country, Sucks and Cage. Still going on as well. This is going to go on for a long time. But we need a new fifth Jordan Grace. Our Universal Champion. And who better than the winner of their match that got me six stars from the critics in Darby Allen. That is our new feud going ahead here. We'll do a little pro battle ski. And they'll add the feud. New title challenger. So Darby Allen challenging Jordan Grace for the Universal Championship uh, at some point down the line. Maybe at Extreme Rules. Who knows? Who knows? But Roman Reigns, 3-0. Uh, a three-loss streak at the moment. Not good news for Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns needs to cut a backstage interview with people, I think. He's a face, too. Oh, I didn't know that. What's Grace? Oh, she's heel. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Put that throughout the show. Look at these feuds. Saturn Ortiz and MSK, they still got legs. That feud still got legs. We can still run it for one more show if we want to. Um, but I don't know what else we can do, really. We've done a lot with them. Let's have a fight. Fuck it. Let's have a fight between these two. They can have a fight. There we go. Uh, okay. Bailey Simone Johnson, this is going to get blown off. Who won the feud? I don't even know. Well, we're moving on. We're moving on from the feud. That is for true. Juggle Boy Kota Bushi still going strong. Uh, and we should do something here. We should, we should, we should. Do a push-up contest with. I think I think they would have a push-up contest, Ibushi and uh, Juggle Boy. And then Bear Country starts in cage. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, we have we have got a lot oh, have we got a lot of stuff? We got some stuff. We got some stuff for, between these guys, we can still do. Entrance Parody is a good one. I like Entrance Parody. Um, I feel like they would do an Entrance Parody, to be fair. Let's let's do that. Entrance Parody. I feel like Starts Gage would parody an Entrance of Bear Country. Let's just put that here. Uh, okay. So who have we got tag team ones? We have... Oh, we have Gresham, don't we? Shit. Jonathan Gre Where's Jonathan Gresham at? There he is. Jonathan Gresham. Alright, Jonathan Gresham is here. We should book a segment for Jonathan Gresham. By segment, I mean debut package. And actually, we have to make them a tag team, don't we? Uh, let's put let's put that here. Let me make them a team real quick before I forget. Or a faction, but they won't be. They'll be a team. Uh, and tag team. So let's put Jordan Grace. Where's she to? Jordan Grace and Jonathan Gresham. G G G G. Oh, J G J G. Sorry. Um. It'll be called hashtag couple goals. Where's the hashtag? There it is. That's not a hashtag. Hashtag couple goals. There you go. <laughs> couple goals are now a team. I think it's. Uh, I think I needed to do. So we have got. We've got five segments left to book here. We're gonna make some matches going on on SmackDown here. Uh, obviously, we can have a couple goals uh, wrestle here. Hashtag couple goals. Uh, Butcher Thunder Rosa. One appearance left for the Butcher. The Butcher and the Blade uh, are also here. 
Max Squad is here. Uh, OG, OGK. No one cares, really. Um, MSK. Let's give him a match against the OGK. Why not? Let's put that further up the card. We'll put this here. Singles match here. Uh, let's have Maki Ito wrestle. She's going to do a wrestle against... She could wrestle Nick Gage, but she won't. Against Simone Johnson or Thunder Rosa? Thunder Rosa! Nah, Simone Johnson. Uh, let's put that here. Let's move this down towards here. And then one more match to end this off. Let's have Roman Reigns versus John Moxley as our main event. Good show. Let's go with that. Okay, Darby Allen in the ring for a promo with Jordan Grace. And look at that. Kicks off the feud straight away with a nice little hot segment. Popular change for both Grace and Allen. Nice to see. And this will be a good title feud. Uh, OGK versus MSK. MSK are going to win. I have no. I don't care about uh, OGK that much. Roman Reigns is backstage. He is uh, talking about being the best form in the locker room. Well, he is. Well, he isn't at the moment as well because he's not a champion, but he could be, you know, he, he, well, could be, you know what I mean, I'm saying, he, he could well be in the future, but right now, Jordan Grace is the best performer in the locker room. Uh, starts the cage parodying Bear Country's entrance, goes over very well. I mean, SmackDown did a very good job at the moment with, uh, with segments. Ibushi and Jungle Boy, uh, Ibushi not bothered by push-up contests, he's not bothered at all. Bear Bronson got over, oh, sweet, that's nice. We've been trying to get him over for a while, I think, so it's nice to see if everyone's is finally over. Uh, let's have Bailey move on from this feud. I think it's a, it's a wise move. Five star feud as well, that's pretty good. I think it's going to be five star feud, that's pretty nice. Uh, meanwhile, Small Johnson and Makita. Makita's going to win! Makita wins. John the Gresham debuting here, Davy Package. Goes over well, 8 plus 8% 8 over in his change. That's very good indeed. Uh, is. I don't know how over he is already, but I don't think he was that over. But it definitely helps. That definitely helps. A fight between MSK and Santana Ortiz. Of course it goes over very well. This feud's been going on for a while. People love this feud. Uh, and they still keep on one goal. Uh, main event, John Moxley versus Roman Reigns. And Moxley's going to get the win against Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns plus minus three over this change. He's on a bit of a losing streak, guys. We're trying to make this... Uh, you know, storyline for Reigns, so he's on a bit of a losing streak. And Moxley, part of the paradigm, of course, doesn't help to his uh, to his cause. Four and a quarter star, not as good as Velocity. Not as good as Velocity. So that is a difference between uh, SmackDown and Velocity. Right? Velocity definitely having some of the better shows than SmackDown. Which has been the case, I think, for, for the past couple of uh, weeks. But the fan change is still there. The fans are still coming over SmackDown. 6.8 million viewers watching Friday Night SmackDown, but Velocity has all the momentum. Simon Johnson's work rate skills increase. And Matt Taven has random appearances. Oh no, I am sad. Oh no. <laughs> um, Alright, let's move on. Rio vs Bianca Belair, this is going to be a match. We are finishing this rivalry off here. We're blowing this off. And do we have no more contenders match here? We do not. I'm going to make it happen. I'm not going to make it happen. I'm kidding. We're just going to have a stipulation. Last person standing. Main event on velocity between Bianca Belair and Riho. Sebatigo and Dominic Mysterio. Uh, let's see. What can we do with you guys this week? Huh? What can we do with you guys this week? Promo ambush ski. I think that's a... Nice way to do it. Boogeyman and Apollo Crews. This is going to have a fight. Fight for your right to party. AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Um, hmm. Let's have a smack talking session on Velocity. Okay. Uh, we'll have a backstage segment with Riho, not Riho, sorry, with uh, Mesa Ruga. Riho's in the main event. We want to talk about Mesa Ruga because she's the champion, of course, and she wants to know, 
you know, if you want to interview here about the match, you could be presented to get challenged here, Bianca Belair and Riho. Okay, what's Packer face? No, he's neutral, okay. Okay, tag team action. Miu and Mayu need a new feud. And who better, who better than the aggression? Let's put the, actually, we'll leave it for a moment because we're gonna have aggression fight first. Against pretty, not pretty deadly, Boozy Beasts. They're moreover. And then a singles match as well. Let's put him in. Pack the Bastard versus Omos. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's kicking off the show as well. Uh, Hook, where's Hook? Hook. Let's book you in a segment, pal. Uh, hook. Let's do a video package on Hook. You know, keep him, keep him build up. You know, keep him hype. Keep the hype on him. Keep the hype on him. Uh, a champion package on somebody. Why not on the Hog Dippers? You know, on the Hog Dippers champions. There we go. Uh, and then we have one more segment. We have Diana Perrazzo cut a heel promo on people. Now I'll kick off the show. Alright. I think that's a good show. We'll go with that. Let's see how that does. Diana Perrazzo in the ring for a promo. Miss Money in the Bank, of course. Not a bad promo. Plus one over his change was nice to see as well. So Diana Perrazzo getting that heat, son. Omos versus Pac. The Confident Thug versus the Bastard. And Omos wins. Omos wins. It's happening. Omos wins. Good match as well. Riho, Bianca Belair, promo ambush. Uh, that'll be from Riho. They have a match coming up later on tonight on Velocity. I forgot I kind of put this out, but it's fine. It's fine. It'll work out here. Uh, camera Crew, Boogeyman, and Apollo Crews. Nicely done. Uh, the aggression for the Boosty Beasts and the aggression are going to win. And Nakajima already over. Kita Mia. Kita Mia is uh, getting over as well. Masa getting on over this baby. Hook video package. Goes over tremendously. Plus five over this change. I mean, that's what we want to do for Hook, baby. Hell yes, sir. Uh, Smack Talk AJ Styles. Let's do that. Nicely done. Champion package for the Hulk Dippers champions. And over the change as well. It's pretty nice. Already over, but you know, we need that we need that championship to be more prestigious. Currently on a bronze bronze star. We'll hopefully get a silver at some point. Uh Mace Druga, backstage interview. Still about no one's above it. She's a champion, of course, she can say what she wants. And our main event, last person standing, Bianca Belair versus Riho. And I feel like we need to give a heel uh, first challenger. So Bianca Belair is going to win. Five star matchup, the blow off feud has happened. The blow off match even has happened. Bianca Belair winning, beating Riho. And uh, she wins. She just wins. Nicely done. And it worked because of the level 3 song, which is nice. Four and a half star, good show. Very good show as I take a drink of some Forest Fruits juice. Sp not sponsored by Tesco. If we were though, that would be dope. But I'm not that big of a channel, so sponsorship isn't even really a thing I should be thinking about. I should be thinking about growing the channel. That's right, lost fans. That's surprising. That's actually pretty surprising. We had a very solid show. Nothing really weak uh, in this show. Everything pretty solid, so... Yeah, I don't know what people what people are thinking here. So Bianca Bell's work rate's gone up, which is pretty nice. Alright. So let's let's do some more things. Let's do some more things. So we need Roman to lose another match before we can cut losing streak promo, which is fine. Britt Bacon needs a feud. And who better than Thunder Rosa? And they're gonna have a fight. A big old fight. New Town Challenger, there we go. So, Thunder Rosa, part of the paradigm. Uh, taking on 
uh, Britt Baker in a fight ski. Right there. Darby Allen, Jordan Grace. Uh, unlikely partner Nairs is their feud. Goes on here. Bear Country and Starks and Cage are going to have a pro battle. Abushi and Jungle Boy, the boy of the jungle. Uh, that one. Why not? San Ortiz and MSK. Ah, uh, we're going to leave that alone for a second. We're going to keep that off the show this week. Let's build something else. We do have, uh, we do have people on this roster. Like Jonathan Grasham, who has nothing to do at the moment, so... Actually, you know what? Let's put him in a match, Jonathan Grasham. Jonathan Grasham is going to go one-on-one -on -one with... Hmm. I was thinking Bandido. Let's put him against Band Bandido or John Moxley. Bandido. Yeah, we'll add the feud. This is our home. Why not? Sounds cool. Um, then we'll also cut a backstage interview with hashtag couple goals. Jordan Grace and uh, Jonathan Gresham. Both backstage. Hashtag couple goals, of course. Uh, okay, so we have Big Country, Push and Play. We have OGK. So it's okay. We can't use the OGK. Because uh, Matt Tape is not available anymore. Uh, let's have a tag team match. Bear Country, one on one with um with the Paradigm. Not Butcher, Moxley, and Thunder Rosa. And obviously Thunder Rosa is going to be shooting with uh, Britt Baker. Back, this can kick off the. Sh this can. We'll put this a bit further up. And we'll do this here. And then we'll put this up here. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Now let's do a little day in the life of somebody. I feel John Mox. Not John Moxley, actually. Let's put Makito. And we could also do a cash in tease. So, of course, we have Diana Peraza and Miss Money in the Bank. And she could see she could, she could teasing against uh, Jordan Grace. Put that a bit further up here. We'll put this here. And then we'll have Jordan Grace wrestle as well. She can face. Oh, she might not be able to wrestle actually. She's already in two segments. We'll see. Oh no, we can do it. Okay, cool. I was worried we couldn't do it. We'll put that here. And that'll do. She's in like three segments of Jordan Grace tonight. That's awesome. Alright. Let's, uh, let's, well, four actually. She's just all over the place tonight. Let's, uh, let's get her left show. Let's smack down. Bear Country in the ring for promo time. I hate to drop them, of course. Uh, plus we're able to change for the Bear Country. Bear Country getting over and over by the, you know, by the second. They'll be our new tag team chapter soon. Speaking of Bear Country, they're taking on Moxie and Rosa. Uh, and Bear Country going to win. Plus 2% overchange again. Uh, Ibushi doing this. Yeah, that's cool. Alan and Grace. Unlikely partners. Nice segment. Nice segment. Bandito versus Jonathan Gresham. And Jonathan Gresham is going to cheat to win. Actually, no. Bandito is going to win. But Bandito's not happy about feuding with uh, Gresham. Which is fine. Uh, Maki Ito, day in the life of Maki Ito. Swimming in the local lake and napping in the center of it. You know what? That sounds like a Maki Ito thing to do. Couple goals. Hashtag couple goals. Backstage in a few ski. Plus two overness change for this two. These two teams. Or these two people in a team. That's nice. Fight between Britt Baker and Thunder Rosa. And Britt Baker not happy to feed him with Thunder Rosa, apparently. Oh, you know what? That, that actually sounds like real life, too. She probably doesn't want to feed Thunder Rosa again, never again. DMD channel, you know what I mean? Bailey versus Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace is going to win. Uh, the champion, of course. And then... This is how you want to see. Look at this. 
Jordan Grace being threatened by Velocity's Diana Perazzo, who can be on any show. Because she has the briefcase, she has the contract that guarantees her tile shot. Jordan Grace running away. That's how she that's actually worked perfectly. The champion Jordan Grace heading backstage have a tough match with Bailey. Be honest, Perazzo comes out. The champion Ratisse and Perazzo trying to see the cash are not gonna happen. Four offs is that better than Velocity? It's the same rating. It might be the same rating. Same rating for Velocity and uh, SmackDown this week. Pretty nice. So that's nice to see. Nice to see, Shen. But I think we lost fans again. Because the reps got down. Yeah, we lost fans again. People aren't interested in SmackDown, apparently. Even though we're putting on very good shows. I mean, we're all put on a five star show, but fair enough. You know what I mean? But we're still doing good, Shen. You know what I mean? Okay. The Horror Show Extreme Rules. Whose pay per view is that? Is it anybody's or is it both? Calendar. It is Velocity Show. Okay, Velocity. We'll hype up this event then more than uh, more than anybody else. So let's uh, let's do that. Event package for the Horror Show Extreme Rules, which already had that by Serpentico Dominic Series. To be honest with you. Um, okay. Spooky trick. Let's make it funny. Uh, Paul Cruz and the Boogeyman. Eh, why not? Let's do that. <laughs> why not? H stars Kevin Owens. Uh, they could do something. What though? I don't know. Post match attack? I guess that'll do. Let's make sure Kevin Owens is actually. Hold on. Uh, where's Kevin Owens? Kevin Owens, H Styles. That's Miyu and Mashida. That's better. Oh, boy. Put that further up. Then we'll have Kevin Owens wrestle. Not Dakota Kai. Not AJ Styles. Come on. Jesus Christ. There we go. Kevin Owens taking on Rey Mysterio. He's a solid hand. Uh, okay. So let's start this feud with Bianca Belair and May Saruga. They've already had a feud before, so that's pretty good. They're going to have a pro battle ski. And God hates you. God hates us all. Uh, but she's going, that's my title. Bianca Belair wants her title back. And speaking of champions, uh, Miyu Mayu be feuding with the aggression. They're going to have a fight, though. Because they're fucking nuts. Um, let's put that further up here, put that there, we have four segments left to go, and I feel like we can only do a video package on my man, Omos, we're protecting Omos, we're not making him wrestle a lot of times, we're just going to keep doing video packages and stuff like that on him, and speaking of matches actually, let's put Hook in a match here, let's actually put Hook in a feud, Hook versus somebody. Send Hook. Uh, let's put him against Pac. Let's go, let's go crazy. Let's get crazy here. A legitimate child. Maybe. No. Uh, a duel. That's my move. Spite. You smell. Stolen parking spot. My hair is better. You know what? That's a good feud. Between Pac and Hook. It is happening. Now let's have a tag team match to finish this off here. Uh, between the champs? Let's put the champs in action here. Let's put the champs in action against a uh, little, 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 pretty deadly. And let's not put the belts on the line. Let's remove that title quickly. And then we'll do this. Perfect. That's a show. Bianca Belair and Mace Ruger. Obviously feuding at the moment. Well, now starting their feud finally, and uh, it's gonna be over the title. Mace Ruga and Bianca Belair are feuding. Uh, Serpentico doing spookiness, spooky, spooky man. Send Hook. He's gonna cheat to win. Interesting story, see. But Park's not happy to feuding with Hook. Ah, be fine. Let's get Hook over, guys. Come on. We're getting Hook over. Be fine. Uh, Paul Cruz doing this. Yep. Omas video package. 
Plus three over the change again. Omas is getting more over, baby. Pretty deadly versus the champs. The champs win. Uh, no surprise there. Event package. We have uh, the Horror Shooter Exchange rules. Built up for Velocity here. Promoted at the Velocity Show. Me, a machine, and Mayu Motani. And the aggression fighting. And plus five over the change for the aggression. That is what we want to see. That's exactly what we want to see. Hell yeah. Kevin Owens beats Rey Mysterio, and then after that matchup, AJ Styles comes in and beats up Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Lovely. Four and a half star show. Not bad. Rey Mysterio no longer over the fans. That's not cool. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um... All right. Not a bad, uh, not a bad little segmente there. All right, let's go into. Oh, we still have injuries. Oh yeah, Hamman Page is out for fucking ages. He's out for ten to thirteen months. He's not. He's not gonna be back for a long time. Luchasaurus out for three to four months. Gramath League out for two. What well, two months? Joe Kiona same. Uh, where are they based at? Actually. Um. Right. Velocity. Kiona and Metal League are on, on Velocity. So, Paige and Luchasaurus are on. Okay. Just so I check. Um, okay. So boy and Ibushi. Got a lot of feuds going on here. Unlucky Partners. Sounds cool. Britt Baker, Thunder Rosa. Uh, they're going to have a pro battle. Darby and Jordan Grace. Uh, Darby Allen demands a tower shot. He wants a tower shot over Jordan Grace right now. Um, Bear Country, Sass and Cage. Crowd Attack. Sounds cool. Let's do that. Jungle Boy and Kota Ibushi. Uh, spooky Trick. Yeah, Spooky Trick. Spooky, spooky trick. Now, so Tano Ortiz and MSK will put him in something this week. Let's put him in a big old Unlucky Partners segment. It's a big match coming. So we'll do that. All right, we got five segments left. I'm thinking. All right, who's who's not booked? Bailey's not booked, but she's damn, she's on a bit of a losing streak. Uh, let's put let's put a tag team match on here. Let's put the Mexico squad in action. Against hashtag couple goals. Ray Horsby and Famita. We will add Bandido to the managerial role here. And then we will do. Oh, we already got a late partners. What are we doing? You know what? Delete that then. Instead, these two can. Back to the attack, because that's why uh, Bandito can't wrestle tonight. Gresham attacked him backstage, so now he's a manager instead. It makes sense, guys. It makes sense. There we go. Uh, Darby Allen will wrestle as well. Darby Allen will take on Wesley. Not Wesley, actually. Uh, let's, put against, let's put him against Jungle Boy. Why not? Put that there. And then, uh, let's do a Psych Monte backstage with. Uh, who's wrestling? Not that let's do it with Nick Gage. MDK all fucking day. Ah, uh, no, dude. Okay. Promo battles here. Nice promo battle, and it's already become hot. The segment has made the feud hot between Britt Baker, DMD, and Thunder Rosa. Gresham attacking Bandido. Gets him a little over as well. It's gone from average to popular, which is good to see. Good to see. Nick Gage is backstage talking. And uh, there we go. That also... Ah, I didn't... Uh, okay. But it got him a little over, so... You know, it's not so bad. Crowd attack. Instead, Baker actually rapping about how much better they are than every wrestling industry. 
Fair enough. I need to change that segment then. Uh, good segment between uh, Power and Powerful and MSK. Jungle Boy could have Bushi Spooky Trick. Jungle Boy will do the spookiness of the trickiness. Nice little segment again. Uh, Darby Allen vs Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy loses to Darby Allen. And Darby Allen is still out here. He's not coming out. He's still out there. He's demanding a title shot from Jordan Grace. And Jordan Grace holds the belt up and goes, You want some? Come get some. In the main event, couple goals with the Mexican squad. And we're going to have couple goals win via nefarious means. They're going to cheat to win this matchup. There we go. Four and a quarter star uh, show from SmackDown this week. I mean, eh, not the best, not the worst either. But, you know, still. We're still working towards it. Which is nice to see. So, still far and away <laughs> the best show on TV. Still. Alright, we have one more show before the Horror Show Extreme Rules. So, this is going to be a big show. For velocity, do we have contract signing available for these two? I don't think we do. We do. We do. Oh well, then we'll do that then. Boogie Man and Paul Cruz are gonna have a fight. Uh, I don't know if they had a fight last week, but they're gonna have another one. Why not? Just keep scrapping, boys. Uh, this one. This one like Major Styles will do. Mace Ruger and. Bianca Bella could have a little promo battle. A little promo battle again. Uh, these guys, they fought last week. The Aggression won a title shot. After their fight. And Hook and Pack, oh, you already know. Promo ambush ski. For that one. And then, uh, where's my man Omas? He's gonna get a day in the life, baby. Because Omas, we're going to get Omas over us. He's already at a mid card. He's been here for about nearly a month. Under a month. He's up a mid card already. That's what that's what coming to Velocity does to you guys. You know what I mean? That's just what I mean. Let's make a big old 3v3. Pete Dunn. Pack. And... Huh. I don't know. Tony? No, Tony Stone. Riho? Yeah, Riho. So Pac, Riho, and Pete Dunn take on the heels, <laughs> whoever they may be. Uh, where are the heels at? Oh, we got this, oh, Hook is a heel. We can make him wrestle. Hook, Akum, and Razor. Send Hook. That's our main event. And then a singles matchup here as well. Uh, Mayu Itani going one on one with the aggression. One of the aggression. And uh, Masa Kitamaya. So that's a matchup. That's happened too. I'll make sure to add those managers as well. Yes. And then also. Add another manager for Mayu Utani. There we go. That is our Velocity Go Home show. Sounds good to me. Promo skis between these two. And nothing to complain about here. Very good segment. Very good segment. Boogeyman and Apollo Crews fighting. That's what we want to see. Uh, Masa versus Mayu. Uh, we got Masa win. Gonna beat Mayu Itani. First singles victory for him. And he got over as well. And the chan the feuds become hot as well. Between the aggression and Mayu Itani. And, you know. Mayu Tani Miyu Yamashita against the aggression. Getting over. And the same is going well. Omas, day life of the Omas, come on. Oh hell yeah. Omas got over. He's already over, guys. Omas is already over here in this company. It didn't take that long. Uh hook, promo ambush. Yeah, whatever. Uh H, H Styles. God, little Kevin Owens. God damn. Don't see puts a 70 through the table. And then we'll have Hook and AOP cheat to win. <laughs> and the fit. Oh no, I forgot about the finish. Already had it. God damn it. Wait, what? Is it, was it? Where? Which means already held. Do we not do. 
We didn't do one this week. Oh, I might talk about SmackDown, but that's dumb. Oh well. Well, Hulk cheats to win anyway. It doesn't matter. That's cool. Four and a quarter star for Velocity. Not too bad. Not too bad. But all right, we are we are we are getting close to the pay per view here. We are getting getting close to that pay per view ski. Just waiting for this to load. Before I continue, just see how we do in the segments. Getting close to getting that to uh, to Silver Star, which is nice, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna continue because it's gonna take a while. Oh, it's actually, oh, actually, it's not too bad. I was looking for the rep. Oh, there it is. Oh, we gained seven. Okay, cool, cool. We gained some fans from that. That's cool. A lot of people to turn in velocity, which is nice. The big show, of course. Friday SmackDown. It's happening. Main event here is going to be MSK and Santana Ortiz. This is the blow off. This is gonna be a. Um. Battle in the bonus pit. No, we will not do it. We want a ladder match ski to blow off this feud. Ibushi and Jungle Boy. We're going to keep them off the show. This can carry on, though. A lot of promo battle. Darby Allen, Jordan Grace. Promo ambush. Brett Baker, Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa wants a tile shot. Gresham and Bandito. Uh, mass attacker. I'll do. Uh, actually, that can come on the show. Oh, we already got on the show, don't mind. Ignore me. This can come on the show. For a moment. We'll do a feud package for these two. I think that's, that'll be nice here. Okay, and then we'll do a backstage interview with MSK, type of their match. And then we'll also have a champion package on Proud and Powerful. Boom. Put that there. Actually, be further up. There we go. And then we'll also have one more singles match here. Diana Peraza is going to compete on uh, on this show. She's not a member of the roster, but she's going to compete. She's going to take on Simone Johnson. Miss Money in the Bank. Not defending the briefcase, of course. She's going to just be competing one-on-one. -on -one. She made her presence felt last week. She's competing on this week's show. So there we go. All right. Let's go with that for SmackDown. Bear Country and Stars and Cage uh, talking. Bear Bones and Crystal got up to level two. And it's gimmicks on over five. Which is nice to see. And Bear Country getting more over. Thunder Rosa wants a tile shot over Britt Baker. That goes a little bit over. That's nice. Nice segment. Five star ski. MSK are backstage. Talking about their upcoming matchup here. And how no one is above them. Especially on a ladder. Uh, feud package for this feud. Very good feud package. Nicely done. The feud's getting more hyped up. Which is awesome. Gresham is doing that. Uh, Diana Peraza wins this match. Champion package for Proud and Powerful. Does very well. Grace does the ambushing. And then our main event, MSK for Santana Ortiz, is going to end by Santana Ortiz winning the matchup and blowing off this feud. Five star matchup. Nicely done. Very good show for SmackDown. And near five-star show. Near the perfect show, according to the people. So that's nice. And holy shit, Ortiz can snatch Nash Carter off the top of the ladder. Crashing onto the map below. Fans are going crazy. You can award three credits. And Ortiz getting noticed with a 2%. That sounds like an Ortiz thing to do, to be fair. Alright, and fans come back on our side. and loving that SmackDown show. I loved it too. Very good. Alright. It is time for the horror show at Extreme Rules. Unsanctioned will get plus 12 hype. Street Fight, Nigerian Drum Fight also get some effect potential. But right now, let's book a little bit of a Battle Royal ski. Because we've been told that Boogeyman needs to win a Battle Royal. And he will. So Lindsay, Dilsha, whoever you are, Alia Mysterio, Akam, Razor, 
these two, Boogeyman, Mysterio, Sane, Kushida, Nyla Rose, Session Moth Martina. There's already 15 people in there, that's fine. Chris Sabin, and let's put Tony Storm in there too. A 15 person battle royal is happening. Anyway, now let's let's move on to the next next matches of the card here. So Sympathy Dominic Mysterio is gonna be our main event. No, I don't know. Well anyway, it's gonna be a blow off match here, and it's also gonna be a matchup that's uh, gonna be unsanctioned. HL's Kevin Owens going one on one here in their matchup. Younger Bill makes the get that actually be the main event. The women's title match. And that'll be a street fight. Hook versus Pack is also happening. Uh, tag team titles are on the line. The Hulk Divas Championship are also on the line here. The Aggression taking on Miyu and Mayu. Uh, we have the Boozy. We can have Boozy Beast. Everyone competes still, which is nice. And in thinking this, Omos is going one on one with Chris Sabin. Not the feud. Taking my spot. Sounds good to me. Uh, Pete Dunn is going to fight somebody. He's going to fight uh, Rey Mysterio. Why not? And then we'll have Apollo Crews, the boogeyman here as well. This is going to be the Nigerian drum fight. Where is it? There it is. So while they're in a battle royal, they're still going to compete here. Dakota Kai hasn't got a match, to be fair. No Tony Storm. You know what? We're going to do that, actually. A six-way women's match here. For the Money in the Bank briefcase. The yeah, Arpaz is putting it on the line here in this match. For why, we don't know. She just wants to prove herself to be the best. Let me look at some of these quick main event package here. We'll also book a uh, video package on... Hook. And then one more, a back interview with somebody, and that somebody is going to be Omos. Perfect. Alright, we've got two more things to do here. We're going to make them tag team matches, actually. We have people here, so AOP pretty deadly. Going to go one on one, -on -one here in tag team action. And then we're also going to have a... Match between Nala Rose and Kushida. Just a nice little one-on-one -on -one matchup there. On the show. Alright. Uh, anything else? The Junior Drum Fight Street Fight. I'm sanctioned. Uh, we've got all that going on here. Uh, nothing really. This one can have a, a step, I guess. It's going to have a submission. There we go. Alright, cool. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. The Horror Show Extreme was this year. All the people are ready to go. Let's see what's going to go on. What do they predict? Bianca Belair win the title. Interesting. Dumb Mysterio retains. Me and Mario retain. Apollo Crews wins. Chris Saban wins. Nine rolls for your count out. Tony Stone wins. Pete Dunn. They have no idea here. Kevin Owens wins. Pac wins. And Ella Rose wins. Boogeyman is winning. And Rainbow Mysterio got over with the fans. That's nice to see. But, uh, yeah, that was the goal. The boogie might need to win a battle royal. He's done that. Pack versus Hook. Uh, as much as I'm going to give it to Pack, Hook needs to win. So, how about he wins via counter? That's cool. And that's become hot as well. But Pack is probably getting more and more agitated that he's losing this man called Hook. Kevin vs. Age of Styles. Age of Styles is going to win. Keep this through going. Damn, five and a half star matchup between Styles and Owens. That's awesome. 
Um, AOP. Switch up a little bit, switch up a little bit, you know what I mean? So you want to see? Be the about a hook. Send hook. Oh yeah. Hook got over the fans, baby, and all the old is over, but hook is over too. Pete Dunn beats Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio no longer over the fans, again. Um, hmm. Diana Perazzo is going to retain. Very good match, though. Very, very good match. Everyone benefited from that matchup, which is nice to see. Kushida vs. Nala Rose. Nala Rose. Omos is backstage, ready for his match against Chris Sabin. And Omos wins. Omos wins, beats Chris Sabin. The confident thug is here. Apollo Crews. Let's go between that one. Uh, as much as I want to give the aggression, I don't know. We're going to have a time... We're going to have a double pin in favour of the aggression. Aggression benefit from that one as well. Keeps this feud going. Did not change hands of belts. Of course it did not. Dominus here versus Stephen Tico. Here, one-on-one -on -one and sanctioned. This is the end of their feud. And in the end... It is Dominic Mysterio who's going to retain the title. That's what I want to give to Sip and Tico. Mysterio's having a good reign. I want to keep it going with him. And then our main event of the evening, May Saruga versus Bianca Belair. This feud's still fresh. And we are going to have this end. Street fight wise. We're going to have it end with May Saruga winning this one. Not a bad match as well. Five and a quarter star matchup. Very solid show overall here. Nicely done. The rating is nearly in. Four and three quarter stars. Nearly five star. Need the perfect pay per view. We had everything. We had a battle royal. We had hook win. We had Omar swim. We had everything. Very good match. Very good show. Very good pay per view show. The prestige of that feud goes. Uh, that one goes up too. Hogtip is prestige uh, has got a silver finally. Um, everything else is going pretty, pretty good. So that's nice to see. Good pay for velocity overall. Hopefully we can see the buys and the rest of the spectator. And all that stuff. Let's shake my drink. And I'll drink it. Look at those buys. Look at all those buys. 860,000 people buying the Horror Show Extreme Rules and enjoying the show. It is one a good show as well. Five stars. Great American Bash from NXT doing well. New Japan having a good show. I mean, everyone had good shows. Just, you know. Everyone wants to see Velocity. Hook becomes hot. So we want to see. Everything's about SmackDown. So we want to see. Thank you, rest of the Alright, this is what we're talking about. This is the one. You know, I don't perform too well on weekly shows. How about a little bit of a break? Same for the monthlies? Ask me someone else, pal. Uh, yeah, that works for me, sure. There we go, we got the... The Varsity Blunts rejected us? What? Son of a bitch. Oh, we didn't do it again. Well, Kojima and Moxie always feud in German. Seven and nine months, that's nice. That's better than what it was before. Rebel Kel. Made us available to sign from the Indies. Grammar's League is back. Ovenus should get a nice boost. Plus five. Ovenus change. Lucha Pass Party back. Tony Stoneworker increased. Boogie Man won a major battle royal. And Bear Bronson has charisma skill increased. So let's see. Let's go to the Indies. So Rebel Kel is available to sign. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll bring her in. Why not? I'll pop for that. Yeah, you pop for this. Pop for this. Uh, so we've tried getting Isaiah Swift Scott, but he's just not getting recruited. So we'll get somebody else then. How about Chris Hero? Let's see if he wants to join. Or we'll get recruited at least. Alright, so the Varasi Blunts did not want to come to us, they wanted to run it raw. Whatever. Doesn't bother me. So we got a talent request here from The Blade. No weekly shows. That's fine with me. Uh, I don't even use you much anyway, so it's fine. 
But that's going to be it for SmackDown. We're four shows away from SummerSlam. That's our next venture on SmackDown business. Good to be back on this. Uh, I enjoyed it pretty much because I haven't done it in a while. Uh, doing SmackDown. I've been doing a lot of other things on this game, but not... Um, not the SmackDowns. I've not been doing anything in SmackDowns recently, so... Let's take a look at the event one more time. The Horror Show Extreme Rules. Nice matches from top to bottom. Edge has Kevin Owens having the best match on the show. Which is nice. Um, so, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice show overall. Which is cool. And the next time we'll see each other, we'll be back here. We'll be, uh, we'll be doing more Velocity, more Smackdowns, and a SummerSlam as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you all very soon. Take care, stay safe, and hopefully more content on the way. Hopefully. Uh, see you later. Peace.